mi gente con una pasión con una pasión tan fuerte Is how it's looking. Well, that eh? And that look, a beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Two boards left over. And what I have to do here, I'll squeeze through here. I have to cut a one inch strip that fits right here. A one inch strip along here. And then a four inch strip along, see if I can reach that. A four inch strip to finish this side. Yeah, just a one inch strip here and a four inch strip the other side, but other than that, all the boards will be done. And then we're gonna start fixing this up here to put our to put our soffit on. And then uh, once the soffit's on, we do all of our, and the soffits and stuff's gonna be white, even where the, uh, even where the, uh, uh, these troughs go, the, the fascia, that's gonna be white as well to match the windows. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty, we took the table saw inside to let it to get some snow off of it, but very shortly, we're gonna get at it and start to doing some more stuff, but we gotta put some away. So we end up with two boards left over. Not too bad, right, Heather? Nope. Two boards, and we only need, we only need that one board right here. Right. We'll have one spare left over. Yeah. That's the one to beat the woodpecker with if he ever comes back. Yeah, this here. Is all good that tree piece of red trim will hide all this but very shortly we're going to fix all up in there once we fix that board over there babe once we finish that over there our next step is do this do the soffit on this side here yeah paint that fascia board uh -huh. paint the soffit once we frame that in and then we're going to put our red trim up and start doing our little batten strips and once that's all done and the east troughs all finished connected up the scaffold's coming down right and we will beat the weather. What do you think of that? Well, when I say beat the weather, I mean beat the warm weather because the weather is pretty bad out here, isn't it, Heather? It's cold and blowing and it is. <laughs> this is pretty brutal. But hey, we got it done, right? Yeah, isn't I'm that great? Oh yeah, I'm happy. We're gonna step back and I'm gonna take a good look at it here and see how it looks. But the boards do fit a lot better with that. With the since I did the bearings on the mill, it uh, cuts a lot better. It was wiggly before a little bit, but not too, too bad, but still. It wasn't as good as it could have been. These boards will dry out a little bit, but I don't see them drying out a whole lot because they are already dead standing in the bush. And I do try to cut that ice ring off the outside, but even at that, there's probably still a bit of moisture in it, I'm sure. I won't delude myself thinking that, uh, that there's no moisture in it. But anyways, it's done and we're gonna get in out of the snow because it hasn't let up all day, has it? No. We were out here this morning, it was pretty brutal. But we were doing other little stuff. You can see the wind just whipping in there. Took the windshield off one of our spare yellowy lands. That is old machine though, man, that's tough. The windshield's still on that thing, you know that? Yeah, you can barely pretty... can barely see through it, but whoever looks through the windshield there's snow on the wheel anyways. Right. You always look over it, about a half inch over. It's true. We're getting quite the ends up here. Yeah, we are, I gotta clean that. <laughs> That'll be a night's worth of firewood there for us. Yeah. Even on a cold night, our little house don't go through much wood now, does it? No, it doesn't at all. Take people, much. people, the odd person keeps asking whether this has, if we've noticed a difference on the house since we put up the house wrap and the siding. How much difference have we noticed? A lot. Yeah, like yeah. night and day, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot better. It doesn't take much wood. No, we, we we're, we're just burning slabs now and before we couldn't, we'd use round wood, right, to keep it, keep it warm in there, like keep it hot. But now those slabs, Man, some nights we don't even light a fire, do we? No, no, if there's some nights we haven't. If it if it's gonna be only like minus two or yeah. three. Or even minus yeah. 10, we haven't lit a fire. Yeah, that's true, the one night we didn't. Yeah, and it was not bad in the no, next it wasn't day. Bad. I mean, it went down to 60 degrees, 65 degrees, something like that, right? But that's not bad, though. Yeah, that's not terrible. No, a lot warmer than here. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to, I don't know what's going on with that. That thing sure, I think there's ice in the armature. You hear that? <laughs> Was blowing spark out the generator, the generator in. Yeah. Or did you hear that? I did. <laughs> I think there's ice in it. We'll take it in and let it thaw out. We'll set it in the basement. Uh, I think it'll probably take like uh, 20 minutes and it'll be thawed right out in there because it's warm in that basement. It is warm. 
That new system's working nice, isn't it? That new it, charging oh, system. That's beautiful, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we have lots of power. I still like to run the generator for something like this, though, so we don't use a lot of power. Yeah, so we don't use it up for for, uh, for uploading videos and stuff because it yeah. was cloudy and snowy it all day. In the past, it passed, yeah. But our batteries are still at 52.4 volts. Yeah. And it's a 48 volt bank system. Mm -hmm. So 52.4 volts is pretty good, but we have two freezers running, we have the refrigerator. We have a bunch of other stuff going in there, so we don't want to suck too much power exactly. out of it. Exactly, yeah. Because like I say, it's cloudy and it's supposed to snow for the next couple of days. It's true. Tomorrow's supposed to be really snowy. Yes. But uh, anyways, and the little garden tractor's keeping up doing the driveway. It's great, step out here, hopefully there's not too wind. But that's what we've been using to do the driveway. And I just love that little thing. Man, that is a nice little unit. If you ever get a chance, folks, if you need anything for a rototiller or a snowblower, Man, those little 214s are hard to beat. I just love them. I have two more spares, and they could potentially be good. The one, I could build one out of the two. Well, I would, yeah, I could build another one out of the two, and I would still have this one. And this one here is, is since I went out and did the head gasket and changed the battery and that, that thing's been dependable, yeah. that little garden tractor. Okay, so we're gonna put stuff away. We got other things to do right now while that thaws out, and yes. I think we're gonna drag that generator into the basement as well. So we may put it in the sleigh. And then tow it down. Tow it down. Sounds yeah. Good. Drag her down. Drag her down, yes. Yeah, Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. You all take care, and we'll talk to you another time. Bye. Bye-bye, all.